William Bill Van Tickelt was born February 17, 1935 in Kalamazoo, Michigan. The family soon moved to Southern California, where Bill got his first bike, a 1948 Harley 125. In 1949, he entered his first motorcycle race at age 14. He won first place and was forever hooked. Bill's next bike was a 350cc Jawa bought from Eddie Kretz Jr. In 1951, Bill bought a 500 AJS single from championship speedway racer Lammy Lamoureux and met Vic Marshall, who invited him to join the 20 Night Owls Off-Road Motorcycle Club. Bill's first customized race bike was a 1950 350 Velocet single, from which he cut off the rigid rear end and built a custom swing arm rear suspension. College cut into his racing, and in 1956, he graduated from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo with a BS in mechanical engineering. Bill went to work in the R&D department at Freebank, where he designed and led the development of a snap action mechanism for a pressure switch that was utilized by NASA in the production of the Saturn V launch vehicle. Freebank is also where Bill met his future wife, Rosalia. In 1960, Bill, along with his father, formed Vantech Engineering, located in Visalia, California. Vantech initially began as a design and production shop of specialized hardware for the missile industry. However, Bill became interested in karting and began applying his engineering background to build faster karting equipment. In 1962, Bill decided to build a small pseudo dirt bike. The self-designed Vantech frame was paired with bicycle wheels and one of the McCulloch cart engines. In 1963, Bill went on to design and build two prototype dirt track bikes and then two Vantech production bikes and the Trials 80, which was identical to the Scrambler, but powered by a Yamaguchi Hodaka engine. The rear suspension was a conventional swing arm setup and the front was leading link, designed by Bill and inspired by Greaves. Bill went on to construct different Vantech motorcycles, each one specialized. Scrambler, TT, Flat Tracker, Desert, and Drag Bikes. Dick McCoon of Grant Industries contacted Bill to discuss joining forces to create what became known as the Grant Vantech Kits. The kits gave the owner the ability to convert their motorcycle to a Scrambler, Desert, Motocrosser, Road Racer, or Flat Tracker using their own engine, wheels, and forks. The Vantech frame was lighter, stronger, and handled better than any other small bore machines of the day. Soon, the Vantech motorcycle kit program was merged into Grant Industries, and they decided that motorcycle helmets would be a compatible addition to their product line. Testing and developing the new thermoplastic helmets led Bill to design and build his own pneumatically propelled cannon, which fired test projectiles at up to 100 miles per hour. The Vantech cannon became the General Electric Corporation's Lexan quality control standard. Bill's problem solving, along with his design and development work, helped Grant Industries to become, at the time, one of the largest helmet manufacturers in the world. The Vantech conversion kits continued to be popular for years, and Bill's frames left their indelible mark on the history of off-road racing. The Trailblazers welcome Bill Van Tickle to the 2017 Hall of Fame.